Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL series, episode 32. We're going to be looking at multiple shaders once again, but this time we're going to be drawing simultaneous multiple shaders uh, at the same time on the screen. That's the word, simultaneous. Ha. Ah. Alright, so here we go. Still sticking with our shaders array, our points array, mode, all these kinds of things. We've reorganized our main a little bit. We have init shaders here, which is just going to be a, oh, an area where we collect all of our shaders. So just a little more simple area. And then callbacks, which are going to be the keyboard callbacks, keyboard and mouse. So nothing different about that, just reorganized. Scrolling down to the bottom of the file here, we have everything is standard from previous uh, episodes. These are UI events. And these could eventually be moved out to a different area, but for now they're just going to be at the bottom. Render buffers, same as before. The only thing is different here now is the draw. So we're going to end up having um, multiple arrays. We have a points array and a points array 2, uh, colors array and colors array 2. And these are going to correspond to the shaders that are going to be designed for each. So for one of the points arrays and colors array, well, those will belong to one shader, and the other will belong to the other. So what we're going to do is we're going to iterate through all of the points. And these are the, remember, these are just the clicks, uh, locations for each. And if we're going to use gel triangles here, we're going to assign every three to one array and the other three to the other array. So we'll be going back and forth between points array and points array two, as well as color array and colors array two. Here we're going to be using the same uh, attribute uh, iterations for the colors array and points array, and colors array two and points array two. We're going to calculate each of their ends accordingly, and then we're going to figure out what mode each shader is actually going to be in. So first we're going to go ahead and use the shaders array with mode one, you know, original. And then the second one is going to be basically either one higher than that. So if we add four or five, it'll just be the next one. Or if it's the last one, then it'll be zero. So we're just making it's the same logic as the uh, keyboard area, but basically redone here to recalculate what the second shader should be for the simultaneous shaders. This will force us to draw out all of the arrays for the first uh, shader, and this will force us out to draw all the uh, arrays for the second shader. So now let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like. So we can draw a three, and then we're going to draw the three. And this is good, um, but you'll see that that uh, shape is drawn behind the other one. And that's because it's just done that way in the order that it is. Also, we have the S keyboard command, so we can switch these if we'd like, um, going back and forth between the two different types of shaders. So uh, at one point, we'll go ahead and clean that kind of Z fighting up, but for now, that's good enough. So anyway, uh, that's it for today. If you like what you saw, please go ahead and subscribe, like this video, share on social media if you will, and go ahead and go to programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. Have a great one.